evening. Um, while we're presenting um, our project to uh, conduct some improvements on Hanley Drive, my name is Lisette Acevedo, and I'm the program manager for the Mobility Infrastructure Group um, in TPW. Also with the city, we have our public communication specialist, Jeffrey Allen, who um, works really hard to make these, these meetings uh, happen, and our assistant director, Lauren Brewer. Uh, I'm going to provide a brief overview of um, the status of all the projects in the area um, at the beginning, and then I'm going to turn it over to the project manager, Shweta Rao, uh, so she can provide um, a brief description of the project and give some information with regards to the schedule of the project. So um, on Hanley Drive, we have recently completed um, a street reconstruction from Lancaster to Meadowbrook that we completed this um, earlier this year in June of 2020. Uh, and also uh, Lumber, Hunter, Route, and McKee, these streets were completed in December of 2019. Uh, we currently are working on Halbert and Craig streets. Uh, we're doing the design and those are going to go to construction um, early, uh, estimated to start our summer of next year. Um, and so with that, I'm going to turn it over to Shweta so she can uh, cover in detail the improvements that we're going to be completing on Hanley Drive. Thank you, Lisette. Um, thank you all for joining the presentation today. So today we are presenting a community meeting presentation on improvements on Hanley Drive from Normandy to Brentwood Stair Road. And um, our engineers are on the call. Our engineer on this project are Chris and Nikul. So this is a brief agenda of the presentation. I'll be going over the project background, the project schedule, and some frequently asked questions about the sidewalk projects and the point of contact for our contractor as well as the city. So coming to the project background, um, the Handley Drive Sidewalk Improvements Project mainly focuses on uh, improving the walkability around the city of Fort Worth and providing accessibility to pedestrians and providing a safe path for pedestrians uh, to get along uh, different corridors. So this project includes pedestrian access elements such as sidewalks as, uh, and ADA ramps at the intersections. Um, and this was a, a location that was prioritized high for 2014 bond funds, but due to other locations being prioritized. Meanwhile, uh, this location was pushed to a 2018 bond. And so this location was considered as a high priority for our 2018 bond sidewalk year one program. Coming to the uh, project location, the limits on this project are on Hanley Drive from Brentwood Stair Road to Normandy Road. From Ellis to Brentwood Stair Road, we would be filling up the gap on the existing sidewalks and providing ADA ramps at all the intersections. And from um, Ellis to Normandy, we would be reducing the roadway section from four lane to three lane and also installing the new sidewalk back of curb. The total length of sidewalk for this project is around 1,300 feet, um, around 9,000 square feet of sidewalk. So um, the section that I spoke about earlier on Hanley Drive between Ellis and Normandy, we had few, uh, I mean, grown trees, and we didn't want to remove those trees to install the sidewalk. So it was proposed to us uh, to reduce the la uh, lane width from four lane to three lane, and that won't be impacting the traffic uh, flow as such, but it would um, help us install the sidewalk without affecting the trees. So the new uh, configuration for that roadway would be one lane going southbound and two lanes going northbound. The pavement markings will also be installed to provide smoother transition between on uh, north end of Ellis and on the south of Normandy. So these are the trees that I'm talking about. Um, we have some large grown trees between Ellis and Normandy that were in our right of way and now, it would have been difficult for us to install a sidewalk without impacting the trees. So um, it was proposed by our arborists to you know, have a, at least a four feet distance from the trunk of the tree to the sidewalk. So 
So this is the proposed section between Ellis and Normandy. So we will be reducing the, um, we would be changing the roadway alignment from existing four way, um, four lane road, two lane southbound, two lane northbound to one lane southbound and two lanes going northbound. And we would also be installing sidewalk back of curb. So this is the transition from um, Ellis coming southbound. So the inner lane would be same as as usual as existing, and the rightmost lane would be right and only uh, when we reach the intersection of Ellis and Handley. Coming to the project schedule, uh, we are currently under utility relocation and easement acquisition phase right now. Atmos is almost done with their relocation, and we are almost 50% done with our right of way acquisition for uh, the section between Ellis and Normandy. So we are anticipating to start construction early November, and the cost of construction is around $360,000, and the duration of construction is around four months. Coming to the frequently asked questions, um, so the general questions that we get on a sidewalk project is, what's the typical width of the proposed sidewalk? So according to ADA, American Disabilities Act, the typical width of the sidewalk is five feet when it's away from the curb, and it's six feet when it's back of curb. So um, in, in this location, for some places where we are going around the trees, we are reducing the sidewalk width to around four feet just to reduce the impact on the route. The next question is, are we impacting driveways on this project? So yes, we are replacing few driveways along this project. Um, and just, I mean, we are replacing them to make them ADA compliant too. So the driveways need to meet the cross slope criteria to be walkable. So we would be replacing them to meet uh, the ADA criteria. And, uh, but during construction of those driveways, we would be providing continuous access to the property. Uh, our contractor would be replacing one panel at a time so that the resident would have continuous access to the property. The next one is, will any existing trees be removed? So we are not planning on removing any trees as a part of this project. Um, all the existing trees would stay as they are. The next one is, will traffic lanes be temporarily closed or detoured? So yes, we have some detour um, as a part of this project. For construction between Ellis and Brentwood Stair Road, only the outermost lane would be uh, closed during construction and it would be moved along uh, with the construction, wherever the construction is going on. But there would be a short term detour for the construction between Ellis and Normandy, where our contractor needs to uh, relocate some storm drain and do some storm drain work. So I'll be showing you the detour plan shortly. So this is the detour plan that's suggested uh, when the construction will be going on between Ellis and Normandy. So the southbound lane would be going as it is, but for the northbound lane, um, for the northbound traffic and Hanley Drive, it would be detoured around Normandy Road uh, towards the frontage at 820 and then come back to Ellis Road. And then we um, then it's detoured on Hanley Drive again. So um, we just have a detour for the northbound traffic and the construction for this part won't take more than two weeks. It would be five to 10 days construction. So we would have this detour for around five to 10 days. Coming to the next question, will existing irrigation system or grass be impacted? So um, yes, we would have some impact from the existing irrigation system and the grass, but um, our contractor would be responsible to put back the irrigation system as it is and um, also replace the grass before the project ends. So everything would be um, back, back to as it is uh, before construction. The next one is, will the construction materials and equipment be left on site during construction? 
So yes, we will have uh, our contractor will be leaving the materials and equipment on site during construction. Um, so once um, the construction is, uh, a contractor is done with their work on that site for that day, the travel lanes would be open to traffic again. And also our contractor would be cleaning the site at end of every day's work. So Fane Group is our contractor for this project and Noel Sanchez from Fane Group will be the point of contact. So here is his phone number and email ID. And I'll be the point of contact for City of Fort Worth and I'm the project manager on this project and I have my phone number and email ID over here. Um, that is all I have. Just let me know if you have any questions. Carrie? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, the main reason why I wanted the neighborhood to see this is because of the brief reduction of a lane for those uh -huh. trees. And I think the best thing you can do is communi you know, communicate that to Judy so that the neighborhood will be aware. It's not the entire length of the street by any means, but I just thought that that was significant and people needed to know. Right, yes, ma'am. I took notes and pictures. Okay. And Jeffrey, if, if, if you can share, you know, whatever you can to carry, because I think you have some good photographs in there of the trees, is that possible? Absolutely, we can share this. Okay, if you, if you send those to me and Sandy, we'll get them to her. Okay. Because she's going to be a, a real big help to Judy on the ground, especially when it comes to things involving technology and stuff. And Carrie, the, I think Judy knows the Buddhist temple is going to give you guys masks for the, uh, the, the litter stomp. Did Judy tell you that? Uh, yeah. No, she didn't get back to me um, after y'all spoke. Well, I'll put you in touch with the monk too. That way, you know, he'll give give as much as y'all need. Okay, wonderful. If you got any questions? I'm not the one who can answer anything, but okay. th these people on the call can help. And I think you see their their contact information. That way, yes, if you need any follow up, and they're real good at coming out. If you guys, you know, need them to have a meeting when when we get back out. I know Judy is not doing public stuff, but you know, they're uh -huh. they're really accessible to you. Okay, yes, ma'am. I just grabbed all that information. Okay. Thanks so much. And Jeffrey, you send it to me and we'll we'll get it to Carrie and everybody will be happy. Yes, ma'am, we'll do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. you all have a great evening. You too. Bye bye.